Lucy went missing from his home in 1985. His adoptive step-parents, Phil and Margaret, reported he ran away to Florida with his friends. Phil and Margaret's son, Jason, tried to tell everyone he could that he seen his dad hit Alan in the head with his fist and seen Alan laying on the kitchen floor. Jason claimed to see Phil walking around outside with a shovel and covered with dirt. No one believed him until his brother's remains was found nine years later, buried under the house. Okay, guys, brought the K2 meter. We got the necrophonics. Kind of felt a little airy up there. We might go up there and try to do the necrophonics. See if we can get anything. See when we get up there. Okay, guys, we're upstairs on the second floor. We're in the smaller room. It could have possibly been Alan Lucy's. I'm gonna start the necrophonic. See if we can get any answers. Does the spirits of Alan Lucy still remain in this house? If you're here, can you come and show us you're here by touching our devices? Would you like to come and touch the ball? It lights up. If there are any spirits here, can you let me know? Can you come and touch the K2 meter? I only want to speak to Alan. Lucy, can you come through the necrophonic box? Can you tell me that you're here? If you want to come and touch those equipment, you can. It all beeps and lights up. If there's any spirits here, can you tell me your name one last time? So we're not getting anything on the equipment. All right, guys, we're going to stop this session for now, see what else we can get into. Hey, guys, I turned the necrophonic off and the ball started going off. There it goes. Is that you playing with the ball? That's awesome. If that was you, can you do it one more time? Can you come touch the ball? 
Okay, guys, we jumped to the kitchen. We're going to ask some questions, see if we can get any communication. Are there any spirits in this house that want to communicate? Is Alan in this house? If so, can you come touch some of our equipment? Let me know that you're here. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? We're trying to communicate with Alan and Lucy. If you're residing in this house, can you please come let us know? You can come and touch our equipment and let us know that you're here. If any okay. spirits are here, come let us know. Okay. Come up and touch our equipment. Are you resting in peace? Is Margaret Lucy here? The spirit of Margaret Lucy. If you like, you can come up and let us know that you're here by touching our equipment. Okay, guys. Thought the K2 went off one time. We might try to go upstairs and see if we can communicate upstairs. Guys, we're going to go back upstairs. Got the K2 meter. The cat ball was going off. If there's any spirits up here, can you come and touch the K2 meter I have in my hand? Can you come let me know that you're here?
Okay, y'all, uh, we're just trying that out. I'm not getting any hits on it. We'll make our way back downstairs. Jason, is this your room? Sound like Jason, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, guys, as we work our way out of here, I got the ghost tube. Let's see if we can capture anything on the ghost tube. Capturing y'all. So we're just walking around one more time. It's very creepy in here, but the cat ball went off upstairs. We're not getting no activity on the K2 meter. We're gonna have to go back and see what the necrophonic says. But it's been quite interesting. So we're gonna make our way out of here in just a minute. Or we'll probably wind up, what's it called? Roosevelt Cemetery? Uh, Rosemont Cemetery. The Rosemont Cemetery. And we'll try to find his grave. So after we leave here, we'll see you at the grave of Alan Lucy. So right now we're in the library of the Lucy Murder House. And we're looking through these books for just a second. And I happened to flip to this page. It was really wild because there's a story on this side called The Little Lost... The Little Boy Lost... The little boy found. I'm going to read it to you. Father, Father, where are you going? Oh, do not walk so fast. Speak, Father, speak to your little boy, or else I shall be lost. The night of, was dark. No father was there. The child was wet with dew. The mirror was deep, and the child did weep, and away the vapor flew. The little boy found. The little boy lost in the lonely fin, led by the wandering light, began to cry. But God, ever nigh, appear like his father in white. He kissed the child and by the hand led and to his mother brought, who in sorrow pale, though the lonely dale, her little boy weeping, sought. Now, I mean, come on. What's the chances of something like that being in this house? Okay, y'all, that's going to include the tour of the Allen Lucy murder house. I think next we're going to go to the cemetery. It's right down the road. We'll see if we can find his grave and check that out. See when we get there. Okay, guys, we made it to the Rosemont Cemetery. The final resting place of Alan and Lucy. We're going to walk around for a minute and check it out. See what's around and hopefully we can find this grave. Let's go. It looks like this is the old part. Take a look at these old graves. Then we're going to find Alan and Lucy's grave. Lisa and James are over there already looking for it. Go check this out. Let's go back to 1871, 1892. That's neat. 
So we'll walk around here and look at these old ones and then we'll go try to find Alan Lucy's grave. Born 1800s. These are old. This goes back to 1885. Got the twin graves. We're gonna go now, we're gonna go try to find the grave. See when we find it. Look guys, we came across some bones in the cemetery. It's like spinal column. We're continuing to try to find Alan Lucy's grave. Check that out. So I'm basically walking up and down. Hopefully we can find the grave. We finally found it. Alan Lucy, born in 1971, died in 1985. It took us a minute to find the grave. It's back here in the very back. They said the city all pitched together and bought his headstone. You're all by yourself and there's no family. It's all alone out here. Well, all right, guys, while we're out here, we may try the necrophonics, ask a couple questions, see if we can get any answers. Let's check it out. We got it set up. I got the rim pod set up with the K2 meter. Alan Lucy, if you're here, can you come communicate? You can speak into the microphones we have. We can, we're able to hear you. Can you make the K2 meter blink? Or the rim pod set up here? Can you make it beep? All you have to do is touch it. It's right in front of us. These bo these uh, little black boxes. All you have to do is touch them. If you want to let us know anything, let me know in this device I have in my hand. Say it loud and clear. Hey guys, I'm going to stop this. Save. So we're going to go back over that later and see if we captured anything in the audio. If the spirit of Alan Lucy is here, can you come talk to us? Come let us know that you're here. We just hope you're resting in peace. Can you let us know you're resting in peace? Did you like living in that big mansion? They said you were from Florida. Did you like the beach? If you want to, you can come up and touch the devices and let us know you're here. If you can say your name one time, it'll let us know you're here. Can you tell us your name? Do you remember what happened to you?
done. Did that man hurt you? I thought it said beat. I heard that. It's beat. Why is he so violent? Was he a mad drunk? man? Mad. Do you know what he was mad about? He was supposed to be insane. If there's anything oh. else you want to tell us, let us know now. Yeah. We're about to go. Thanks for communicating. You sure you don't want to touch our equipment before we go? You can make it light up. We're going to go. Thanks for communicating. You were 13 years old. You would have had a full life ahead of you. I hope you're resting in peace. All right, guys. That's going to include today's video. There at the murder mansion. And here in the cemetery. For the final resting place of Alan and Lucy. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. We'll see you on the next adventure. Peace, y'all.